Hi, Airy Single. How are you guys? I hope all is well. I'm here to do a love read for you guys. I'm Phoenix Rising. You can click like, subscribe. You can share me. This is for singles only, so you must be an Aries, and you must have Aries in your birth chart, so you can... Um, you must be single automatically, but you can have like areas as your Venus, your North Note, your Rising for this to resonate. So, um, if it's a timeless love read, so whenever you get it, it's when you're supposed to get it. If it does not apply, let it fly out the window. To book me for a personal read or to cash out me a donation, it's in the description box on my page. Okay, so let us pray. Spirit of the Most High, Ancestors, Ethics, and Angels, give me messages for Aries single. I'm seeing a fool card in my vision. That's crazy. The fool card is Aries energy. So there's some type of new beginning you're amongst, some type of journey you're on, some type of new beginning with love. Aries Taurus energy. It could be a Taurus, it could be another Aries too. It don't have to be, but there's some type of journey going on. Okay. Um, Four Corner Angels, Gabriel, Raphael, Yuri, on Michael. Give me messages for Aries singles. For the collective that watch me for cross watchers. Aries. Singles, please. I'm gonna do four cards from this deck. Two card confirmation. I just seen a death card too. Scorpio energy. That's some type of new beginning. Letting go of somebody and maybe starting something new. One to seven on the clock. Um four cards from this deck. This is the heart of love. Hearts of love oracle decks from uh Serene Deputy Tarot. She is on YouTube. And I'm gonna use uh this deck to get confirmation. Okay. Four cards, spirit. Airy singles. Three cards fell out. <clears throat> wish I loved you sooner and more complete. So someone wish they had met you sooner than what they did and more complete because there's something incomplete about this. The magnitude of your love shook me to the shook me and caused this tower moment. There was some type of breakup, some type of upheaval, divorce, separation, Leo, Aries, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Leo, did I say Leo? Yeah, the tower moment. It's some type of fallout, some type of breakup. So this is somebody from your past that you already went your separate way from. You had some type of divorce, breakup, some type of chaos, destruction, sudden tragedy, a horrible upheaval. My heart is torn into pieces. This could be you or them. Your next card is, I feel like somebody cheated too with the, um, my heart is torn into pieces. Either you suddenly left them or they suddenly left you. Someone feels like someone's incomplete. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, y'all. My ear hair is stuck to my earring and it's driving me crazy. Okay, thank you. It's okay. The next card is my I'm ready to love in the absence of your judgment. Someone feels like uh I'm laughing because it's funny. I think you you correct this person on a regular basis because you're more mature. They consider that to be you judging them. They consider your mouth to be too blunt. You're a fire sign, so. <laughs> you know, that mouth could be a little bit too much for certain people. I'm a sad, so I get it, you know. Um, you know, Aries is a masculine sign, so I don't know if you was dealing with somebody that was a feminine sign that could have been a little bit too much. Sometimes you got to kind of put a little sugar on the shit. Not the shit shit itself, but you get what I'm saying. Before you say something to somebody, just kind of, you know, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. And I feel like they, they feel like you come off very judgmental. You're judging them. You're judgy, judgy. <clears throat> you have um, softened and purified my heart. I feel like this person was cold. Um, and I feel like there was something that was very negative and toxic about them, but they, you, you purified them. I hate to say someone was a vampire, an energy thief, sucker, leech. Yeah. But that's what I'm picking up. So, keep going. I wish I loved you sooner and more complete. Every single. Give me two cards, spirit. I wish I loved you sooner and more complete. I'm seeing a Knight of Cups. Somebody want to give you a romantic offer. I don't know if it's past the new Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This is somebody that is um, postponing something and something didn't work out with the Seven of Pentacles. This is like was at a crossroads and something went a different way. Virgo towards Capricorn energy. Ooh. Whoever you was dealing with, king or queen of pentacles, this is somebody that was worried about money a lot. Okay, they made decisions based upon money. 
the nine of pentacles is a, a person with a huge ego. This is a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. This is somewhat of a gold digger. They could have stole from you too. Um, this is shady liar. They overindulge. Yeah, I just seen a, the Knight of Cups. Here you go, right here. Before I, uh, I had just said I seen it before I seen it. So th this is like a unrequited love, cheating, uh, very emotionally immature. They could have been seeking other people outside the connection, sleeping around, cheating, deception, lies. This is a childish person. It's like a high school love. They on a ooh, I'm, well, junior high. I don't even give them high school. This is a very 12, 13 year old person, like very emotionally immature. They could have been younger than you too, though. Wish I loved you more sooner and complete. They wish they didn't cheat on you. They wish they didn't play you. They wish they had been more honest. They wish they didn't take your kindness for your weakness. The magnitude of your love shook me to the shook me and caused this tower moment. Why is that here? Aries single. Oh, because they don't want your ass to be single. You got the nine of pentacles. That's the single card. You know, look at her. Virgo towards Capricorn. They don't want your ass to be single because you're looking very attractive. They know someone's going to snatch your ass up. This is uh, self-contentment, um, self-discipline. You know, you got your shit together. You're not around here just spurging. You're saving. Um, maturity. So this is a grown-ass man, grown-ass woman. You are not them. The Knight of Swords is in reverse with the sun upright. So this is somebody that was a know-it-all and you couldn't tell they asked nothing. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy. And because of that, now they view you as the sun. Something's being revealed. Because they didn't want to listen to you this know-it-all. There's something being revealed to them. The Nine of Cups is a know-it-all. An egotistical person. Very stubborn, set in their ways. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. Okay, so that's what shook them to the core. Something that um, you told them that they now have to yeah. <clears throat> the Hierophant is here. Okay, I feel like at some point in time, they laughed about being in a commitment. I'm going to be honest. This is something about laughter right here that I'm picking up about. Them thinking something was funny about this commitment, and it wasn't. They was taking this as a joke, I'm feeling. Okay, look at this. There's some type of chaos, crisis, conflict that went on. Some type of instabilities. Five is about things not going the way that they should. This is um, the Hierophant, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy. <clears throat> And there was some type of um, competition. I don't know about third party, but there was some type of competition somebody could have had you in. Woo. As I said that, it flips out. The Five of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This is um, healing, forgiving, moving forward. Okay. My heart was torn to pieces. This is healing, forgiving, and moving forward after feeling very vulnerable. Okay. This is... Um, self-doubt i feel like there's a weakness that this person had well you have for this person this is low self-esteem that they can have or you um this is um feeling inadequate and i feel like they don't feel like they're good enough for you whether you believe it or not this is self-doubt okay that's why they tore, tore your heart into pieces and yeah this is why you had an unhappy family this king of cups is in reverse this is emotionally immature cheater manipulative, unkind. This is a uh, affair with a married man or woman. The king could be a queen of cups because my readings have no sex order, so it doesn't matter. It could be two men, two women. The four of wands is an unhappy family. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This is why they tore your, tore your heart into pieces. And you, yeah, they were juggling people, juggling money, juggling things. Virgo, towards Capricorn. This is why you got hurt. They were, they were juggling. It's so funny. I'm even hearing, oh, you know, somebody's like a runner. They're a track star. <laughs> so I feel like they were running from you because they're, they're younger than you. Uh, they were uh, immature. Somebody like the real childish. Um, I'm ready to love you in the absence of your judgment. Why is that here? Airy single. Oh, shit. The Ten of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. The Three of Swords is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Now, the Ten of Cups in reverse is definitely um, conflict, a broken home, divorce, some type of emotionally sudden upheaval that makes everybody sad. You could have been keeping up for the appearances. Something to do with social services for some of you. This is dysfunctional family. Um, and the Three of Swords is definitely a heartache, regret, betrayal, um, grief, disappointment that someone feels. Maybe they feel like you was judgmental because of something they had going on social 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 services. I can't talk. Yeah, 
some about um yeah some type of abuse maybe they feel like some type of family secrets they feel like you were judging them on that's what i'm picking up yep the nine of cups is pisces cancer scorpio energy this is one that come in with a romantic proposal or offer have a conversation about something The Six of Swords is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. This is um, a stormy relationship, delay someone felt stuck in. They want to come in and talk to you about whatever situation they're dealing with now. The moon is in reverse. This is unveiling, revealing secrets. Okay, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. They want to come in. I feel like they thought you was fucked up, and now they see how fucked up some shit really is. You know, the grass one green on the other side. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, the Nine of Cups is here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy, the Two of Swords is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy, the Nine of Cups is, um, like I said, misery. So someone's miserable and they have some addictions, some type of emotionally, Im emotionally immature. The Two of Swords is, like I said, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy, this is giving me lies, exposed, indecisions, worry, self-doubt, postponement, turmoil, resentment. This is what softened up their heart. I feel like their ego got in the way of this situation. They aged it and being um, not mature, understanding stuff, and something about stuck in misery. They're unveiling secrets here. The full moon is here on 822. I feel like I need to tell you guys that. So just know things can get real. Shit can get real around a full moon. You keep getting the moon card, and it is the full moon on this card. The seven of wands is you basically saying get the fuck back, being defensive. You're not for the bullshit. I feel like some of you on a spiritual awakening. You Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and you're not for this bullshit. So you let them know, like, don't come over here. If you ain't correct, and I feel like some of you saying, even if you are correct, the time has passed. The door is closed. The five of cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and just healing, forgiving, and moving forward by yourself, though. Someone's watching you, too. I feel like this person's watching you. The high priest is because you're mysterious. This is uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You're like uh, methodical. They don't know what you got going on. This I'm picking up the word methodical, so they don't know. You're like a mystery. High Priestess. Ooh, it's one, one, one on the clock when I just looked up. Shit, and I didn't really flip the card. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, okay. So you got <laughs> the Nine of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy, in reverse. The Nine of Swords is in reverse. This is um, recovering, night terrors, breaking, breaking down, some self-pity. One, two, three, four on the clock. The dude with a king of wands. Someone is in self-pity mode about something that didn't go their way with you. Um, recovering, opening up. Someone could want to open up now. This could be the king of swords. I mean, the king of wands. This is someone that has a way with words. They're like a smooth topper, like a smooth operator. They sweep you off your feet, you know, get you in the bedroom real quick, you know? Yeah. They feel like you left them out in the cold. It could be a king or a queen of wands. It don't have to be that zodiac sign, but somebody feel like you left them out in the cold. <clears throat> Last card. My love, wait, your love sparked a spiritual renewal inside of me. Why is that here for Aries? Thank you. Yeah, you mean the world to them. They resisted this fallout. I feel like they didn't want this, but there was some type of uh, imbalance. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Some Somebody was giving more and the motherfucker was taking more. So it wasn't balanced, okay? So, and I feel like because of that, but they still see you as the world. This is wish fulfillment, success, okay, wholeness. And, um, yeah, the tower is they resisted this fallout, this breakup. They didn't want this to happen. They didn't want shit to fall apart with you. Even if they did, they might have said chaos. They wanted you to stay and play in the bullshit, right? <laughs> Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. They want you to stay and, and, and be a part of the fuckery. Hold on. I'm going to pull uh, the Rebel deck, the singles card series. Hold on. Hold on, let me put these down. Okay. I'm going to pull six cards and then I'm done. Messages for Aries. Oh, shit. Single. <clears throat> You're being shady. Watch out. Shit could get ugly. I just said that around the full moon. Didn't I say that? <sighs> and somebody could be being shady to you is what this means. So somebody could be doing some shady shit. So be careful around the full moon. Some good shit is about to happen. Don't let your issues fuck it up. It's not everyone else's fault. You're a grown ass adult. Stop blaming others for your shit. You got. Don't talk to anyone. Don't look at anyone. You need some fucking alone time. You know why. 
I guess it's none of my business, but you know why? You need to time alone with spirit. That's what they basically saying. When they saying by yourself, that's what they mean. You're the shit. Don't fucking forget it. Every single. And last card. Put the phone down. <laughs> Too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live fucking person. All right, guys. This has been your love read. Click like, subscribe, share me, come back and see me. Um, to get a personal read, oh, to cash out my donation, it's in the description box. And to get, uh, no, 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 I already said that. I said personal read. Okay, I'm really, I'm losing it now. Okay. So anyway, yeah. Oh, yeah. Click the subscribe button and like button. It helps support the channel and it helps me be in your energy. That way, when I do readings, they will resonate more because you're a subscriber or because you click like, you know. Keep coming back, the more you'll, it'll resonate, okay? So thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, love and light. Bye.